guys, thanks for uh, stopping by for another episode. Here we are on our third one. And uh, if you guys remember where we last left off, we were just about to uh, complete our main uh, train line between our first three starting cities. So let's just jump right back into that and continue that. We're just kind of connecting these two to that guy right there. And um, what we can do is we wanted to go to Port St. Lucie with these ones. So why don't we just bring that up and around. Just so we can kind of map where we want to, you know, for spacing and stuff, right? I don't want to make too much overlap or have these guys get in the way. Okay, so we'll try that as our curve. And you guys might be thinking to yourself, there's probably a more efficient way to cross over the river. And there probably is. It just, we got to be, um, you can't really go over these uh, roads too well at an angle and then get a second one in here, right? Okay, terrible example. So we actually can right here, but not my point. Um, usually it's a little bit trickier than that, is what I'm trying to say. So this might look a little bit, you know, a little bit crazy, but could be much worse. And it's really not too bad in the grand scheme. But I do realize it's not the best, you know? Could have done something slightly better, but really not too bad. Great. So these guys are now connected. And what I'm going to do is a very simple line. Okay, so why don't we just go we'll keep adding stations as we go, right? So why don't we just start at the end down here? Because this is kind of the end of the line, per se, for the moment. So we go one and then two. We'll hit over here, and then I want to stop back at Ontario, and then that'll be, you know, going back to the beginning after that. And so we'll zoom in, and we'll double check that these are all correct. Perfect, there's no need to try to transfer there, so we'll stay on the right side. And then where there is a transfer point, we'll just make sure that the tracks are working correctly, and the signals are looking like they're in the right spot. Perfect. Super simple, that's why I leave that one right to the last, right? Okay, so we have 1.16 million um, available with the ability to take out an additional, um, uh, to buy vehicles, I wonder, for, um, oh, we did not, we didn't even do um, a bus line. I said it was going to be a very basic one over here, so let me do that super, super quick. So I was wondering why we had so much money here. So super, super quick, let me do this before we do the uh, trains. Okay. Why don't we, yeah, just do one line that just kind of goes in and does a little bit of a loop on itself type thing. Again, just for super simplicity and the fact that um, Wichita is a little bit underdeveloped compared to the other two cities. And it does have a very unique shape in terms of the, uh, the starting city streets, right? So again, sorry guys, I know you want to see some trains here. And this is a, a game for trains after all. Okay, um, I will put this now in. And I will create a line for this. Okay, so we'll start here. Head over here. And just do a basic loop. And we're not getting the whole city, but we are getting a little bit of coverage. And the more people we can get using the bus, the better. And I do realize I put stops on both sides of the street. Again, it's a little bit preemptive. We're not using them now, just for later on down the road. Cool. And just buy some buses, and three should be okay. I'll set that to line number 14. There we go. So we probably will just take out the remainder. Let's just borrow all of it, and we can always just repay whatever we need to. Trains, though, they are very expensive. Okay, that was super fast, as promised. Okay. Now, I would like to go for the gusto, buy some big ones here, so we'll get this, because I'm looking for a top speed, right? This one's only 60, um, this one's 80, so a little bit more expensive, but I would rather the, the speed. So we'll get this, we're going to get a, a train car that supports our speed. We can buy these ones, but you can see they're about 50% more expensive, so like 40 some odd and change. Rather not do that. Let's get these guys here, and I'll buy one, two, three, let's say four of them. It should be okay for um, a train size. We can hold 64 passengers. That's like actually way more than enough. And 
What we can do now is clone once and clone. Oh, we can't clone twice. 1.18. Oh, we're so close. Okay, so we'll put two trains on the line initially. A third would have been a little bit nicer, but um, unfortunately we can't do it. We'll set these guys to line number 13. And since we'll be going into the negatives almost right away, um, what we'll do is just kind of watch the uh, the trains go. So I'll throw this right over onto um, three speed, and we'll just kind of follow the train on its first route. And now we can kind of see just over here off in the distance all the uh, you know city uh, fleets kind of making their way out onto the uh, the roadways. Awesome. And you'll kind of see as you pass the signals too, they'll actually go up and stuff. So they're they're more than just like you know. A game logic kind of function. They're actually visually, you know, they actually work too. See, it's uh, raising, which is cool. And then what I do um, is um, just so the line works efficiently in terms of um, having multiple trains on the line. Um, we're gonna have to put in some. Uh, oh goodness, I totally forgot. So I'm gonna pause this really quick. And even though this is a horrifying waste of money, I forgot to put the um, rest of the um, signals in. So you want to have just a, you know, not too much spacing, but just like a fair amount, right? More than a train's length. Oh, and of course that one won't work because the vehicle's in the way. So I'll just do this ahead of the line. It just means that um, trains can proceed to the next signal if the um, space in between is uh, nice and clear. And when you have a very efficient signal network like this on your tracks, and what I'm looking for is just making sure these are on the outside, right? Because you can't actually put them on the inside if you wanted to root your traffic differently. So just heads up for that. And again, whenever there's a road, both sides of the road, just kind of stop traffic from blocking, you know? Anyway, so this just creates, um, you know, a nice big open corridor for trains to kind of get through. Cause I know from here to here is clear, but if there's a block, say up here, um, and there's only one signal, which is like way down here, um, you know, the train's gonna stop here. And it's very inefficient cause it could be traveling all of this ground and then stopping just behind the blockage. But um, because this train's already um, here, I have to wait for it to pass the next signal um, before I can put some more in. Which seems a little bit silly, but you know we'll just have to go ahead and let that happen. <clears throat> and hope we don't run out of money. Because you can see right here, see how he has to wait? This is what I'm trying to avoid, because this is like horrifyingly inefficient. Especially since we're um, paying maintenance, right? So, learn from my mistakes. Make sure you put your um, signal network in. This is a little bit of a silly mistake I did right here. Okay, so once the train, you can see, passes the first signal going into the station, it'll now go. So I'll have to borrow some more, and this is money that could have gone towards trains, but unfortunately my mistake is um, costing us. I don't think I can do that because the vehicle's in the way, that's correct. And so it's a race against time. Will this vehicle get far enough away before we go broke by paying maintenance fees? No, actually, I don't think so. Oh, can I put him behind? No. I must wait. Oh, I can. Excellent. Okay, so that at least makes it slightly more efficient. Yeah, I'm just doing this before we run out of money here. Okay. So that could have been worse. I'll pause the game, see if we can get a few more in. You know, you guys are probably like face palming right here and learn from my mistakes. Don't do this. But luckily, we have now just enough in here. Okay, yeah, this is like just enough type of thing. Ideally, a couple more would be beautiful, but... Ooh, perfect, just enough money. Okay, there we go. So we will now let this run its course. And like I said, we will be going into the negatives, right? We borrowed the maximum amount that we can, but what we've done is given ourselves the absolute best in terms of a starting base to get ourselves right back into the positives. So you can see um, almost every single stop has got people waiting, which is fantastic. And then there's all this new construction already starting. And so these new roads will start popping in, more people will come, and then you know more passengers for their trains means more money for us type thing. So all very good stuff. And again, we are in the negatives now, which is totally you know expected. But we can keep an eye on our um, efficiency, right? And see um, if our trains are, uh, our lines are making us money. Which I know they will be, because I've you know I've done this a million times. So I know, like don't let this number scare you. I know we're half a million dollars in debt here, and we borrowed all our money, and you know everything seems scary, but we are okay. In fact, we are more than okay. 
and the longer we run this, the more money we'll make. And what I was trying to do <clears throat> was just get lots and lots of people into the train station as quickly as possible. So that way when a train comes in, it'll leave with as full of a load as possible. And the trains are the real money makers. Which is nice to kind of get a little bit of a bonus boost from the income from the in town. Anyway, so I'll just kind of let this run just for a little bit. Usually, I mean, I don't want to say 10 minutes or so, but at this pace, it should be under 10 minutes for us to be profitable. Because you see that train, you know, it just brought in like 100,000 plus dollars, right? Even as I speak, you can see more of these are starting to, uh, you know, become positive. So it's just a matter of, you know, running, running the clock, right? And then if you do a good job of getting yourself a nice visually appealing route, you can just kind of park yourself overhead of a train and just kind of follow that while your uh, city has become profitable. But you can already see like lots and lots of new construction coming in, which is, which is exactly what we were after. Yeah, and Wichita, surprisingly, quite a few uh, people using the bus network. I like seeing that. Okay, perfect. Another route just made its way into the positives. And again, for all you naysayers being like, oh my goodness, you're wasting your money, what are you doing, this is terrible, it does work, oh my goodness, don't be negative. I promise you, we will make a, a boatload of cash this way. It's just, in the beginning, it's a little bit scary. But the other approach um, you can do is just if you link two cities and just draw, you know, a really simple train back and forth with like one line, it's, it's very slow to get your money back. Because you got to pay maintenance on the train, so you will go into the negatives anyway, right? So I found that just over time, just kind of crunching the numbers, this way happens to be the fastest turnaround. Because even though we are, you know, again, like a million dollars in debt type thing, um, we're just going to be turning around, you know, very, very quickly here. And ideally, I wish I had that little bit more in the beginning so that we could have a third uh, train on the lines, but totally no problem. Oh, yeah. Might just means we have to wait a few extra minutes type thing. And um, for those of you wondering, um, I don't normally do a freight rail line to start simply because it's very expensive. And it's like, I want to say a little bit scary, but you know, it's it's pretty... Oh, did I, did I mess this up? Did I do a full load um, all instead of... Um, it's a good thing I'm staring at this right now. Sorry guys, one second here. Um, what number would that be? The goods one, right? Oh, that should be right. Full load. And full, yeah, that's not, uh, what's going on here, I wonder. Interesting. It just seems like the... Um, hmm. Why is that not... Uh, anyway, these guys are supposed to be bringing the um, the wood, but they're waiting at the wrong uh, thing, it looks like, right? You see, like, the, the goods are piling up over here, but the um, trucks are waiting right there. So that's very strange. I wonder why that's the uh, the case. Did I get these backwards and put, perhaps, the, um, the wrong color on the wrong... But then why would that one be profitable, I wonder? Hmm. That's strange. Yeah, weird. Um, okay, I must have this backwards. Like, I, I totally must here. Okay, so why don't we try and fix this? And oh my goodness, this is very embarrassing. Okay, so are you waiting? You are line 6, and you are... Or line 16, sorry. And you're waiting with goods, when this should be um, the opposite way around, right? Okay. So, can we send these guys back to the depot? We can indeed. So let's do the goods one first, since we have this backwards, unfortunately. My mistake, guys. Oh well. Gives us something to do while we're just waiting for our money, right? And then, so, line six, then. Are these guys on the right one? Because you're going from... Yeah, these guys are going back and forth, right? So these guys are unfortunately here waiting. Yeah, okay. So I don't know how this got so mixed up, but... It unfortunately did. Okay. So we can probably do actually intercept these guys. And we can assign that to a line. And, okay, so this is goods. And goods we want to have on line six, I believe now. Is that what we want? And that one, goods on line six. Goods on line six. And this one, goods on line six. Oops, 
Didn't catch that in time. Oh, good. It did turn around. Okay. Now, these guys. Line 7, please. I think that's right. Hopefully I just didn't uh, do a rinse and repeat right here. But we will soon find out. Oh, new trucks. Excellent. So we can afford it. We'll um, start upgrading the vehicles, too. Okay. Now, I think that is correct. I think, I think, I think. Okay, because line 7 goes from... Where's your Oxford West? So we're east to... Oh, gosh. No, that's not right. Oh, gosh, what is happening? Why am I making such a big mistake here? Um... Did I not have that right the first time around? I'm so confused now. Okay, so line 7 is supposed to be... Oh my goodness, I don't know why this is giving me such a headache here. Um, we're supposed to be going from the east to the south, so that's in town. Oh, I have these just backwards. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so why don't we send this back to the depot and we'll just fix our lines here. There is our universal problem. I got these confused in the very beginning. Oh my gosh. So you guys probably saw that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one over to two. And then that's, oh my gosh. So silly of me. Okay, there we go. All right, so again, just so I don't confuse myself, the second one we made was number seven. So that one should be the goods. So if you're a goods truck, you're going on seven. If you're a woods truck, you're on six. Okay, so seven. Sorry, guys. This is, again, a little bit of a face palm right here, but we uh, we got it working eventually. So seven for goods. Seven for goods. And it's goods as well. Okay, so that's those guys. One, two, three, and four. Now, where do those other trucks end up? Probably made their way back into the depot already. Okay, so these guys will be on line six for wood. Well, <laughs> there we go. And uh, luckily, as I was doing this, our money is now skyrocketing into the right direction. Okay, so I do want to purchase another train just so we can kind of get much more cash than we already have. And incidentally, we just got the truck lines working, and now I'd like to upgrade them, but um, I think we'll worry about getting the train first. So I, I told you, I mean, the, you know, very profitable. It's just a matter of time, right? Give yourself a really good base to start. And then once the money starts really rolling in, you can kind of pay off your loans as you're also building. Because you got to pay interest, unfortunately, on, uh, on your loans. So you do want to pay those off, you know, relatively quickly. It's just money you can be spending elsewhere. And then we'll get the next um, train, we'll upgrade our trucks, then we can kind of um, do a little bit of an upgrade to the uh, lines in uh, Wichita. Okay, so we need 1.1 million and change, I think it's 1.19. So we'll purchase all that at once, so we don't have to um, have an engine just sitting here paying uh, maintenance fees, so that's a little bit inefficient. And we should probably hit that very quickly. And then once we add the new train, like the, the pace at which we'll be making money will definitely increase. Even though we'll obviously be paying maintenance on the train, like it'll be, it'll be well worth it. Okay. And once these next few trains kind of land, I think we'll be, we'll be golden. So I tell you, the trains, they're the money maker, you know? Like the cities like this, they can kind of grind out, you know, the maintenance kind of cancel that off for everyone, but Again, these also, um, you know, bring more passengers to the station. But really, if you have a, like an efficient train route, you're just making so much cash. Okay, here comes the train right now. Excellent. And the um, the routes, or sorry, the game itself, let's pause this. The game itself is going to um, try and space whatever vehicles you have on the, um, the line out as efficiently as possible. Oh, can I afford four of these? I can. That's right, it was 1.19. 
Um, great, so we'll set these to our train line and we'll put our speed back onto three. And then we can actually watch. We haven't done a full um, a full follow of the entire line yet. Let's zoom out slightly. Why don't we just kind of follow this guy on his, on his voyage? And what's really cool is like as um, time progresses, you know, like the buildings they look more modern, the roads they upgrade, the vehicles they upgrade. Obviously, we get new trains, new vehicles in that sense. But it's really cool to kind of see like the dynamic change as like the years go on. And then eventually, um, what we're gonna have to do is add some um, like passing points, so that faster trains we can introduce them onto the line. They can pass some of the slower ones if they're going, you know. And what we can start doing too is, is you'll notice that I have like, you know, like the, the station's already set up for an additional set of lines. So we can make higher speed trains um, occupy lines that go like, you know, greater distances type thing. It's like when you add, you know, a whole bunch of variety, it becomes really fun. There we go. Yeah, this is like a little bit of a basic line, you know, we're kind of just going one direction to the other type thing. But um, yeah, when we, when we get faster trains and we get the money to support it, what we can start doing is like, um, you know, uh, rail bridges that go up and over. We can make like trumpet style interchanges, you know, just like these overly exaggerated, huge, you know, pieces of like engineering, right? Which will be super, super fun. Actually, a nice really route, or a nice route, I should say. And I think in terms of this line, I think three trains is a really good capacity right now. I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Are doing fairly well, I should say. You can see we're, we're leaving with, um, well, that's not a full, not a good example at all. Look at all these people waiting in town, though. So this tells me that we can put more buses on the line, right? So why don't we go ahead and do that? So let's buy two more buses. And that should be line 14. And we can even see now, what is the, the time spacing on line number 14? Ooh, 68 seconds. So that might be a little overkill now. So we actually might be able to sell one of those buses and still be okay. Because now we might actually be losing money. Like we may have peaked before, right? Well, we'll see. Remember, we were at 118k before. If this drops a little bit too much, then we'll kind of we'll sell one of the buses, which I think we may have to do. I don't know. We will see. But again, the buses have to space themselves out a little bit more efficient, efficiently, right? Which the game will do as uh, as time goes on. Well, I don't know. That may have been a good choice, actually. We'll see if we can bring it back up and over. I don't know. This is, this is a tough battle. So these kind of things, right, you want to kind of keep an eye on. Because the more efficient you make, you know, each route, like imagine if we could save $1,000 on, you know, every route we have. That's 13 or 14 routes, right? That's like 140 grand right there. So, I mean, it just adds up. Oh, 140 grand. It's like 13 or 14,000. Oh my goodness, 140 grand. But imagine you had um, more routes, right? Gosh, can I do math or can I do math? Oh my goodness, terrible. I think you get what I'm trying to say though, right? My, what I meant was like, imagine we're saving 10 grand per line. That's kind of what I had in my head, not one grand, but you know what I mean, right? So it is in your best interest to make your lines more efficient, is what I'm trying to say. And so you can kind of see, like, I think we've accomplished it. It's about the same kind of price, though. Oh, there we go. We're bumping in. Everything else slowly getting there. Main one, though, obviously the trains, right? So if these are in the negatives by, like, you know, a little bit, not too much, not the end of the world, I kind of see them as being helpful for making this train, like, a million-dollar line, you know? But definitely the whole point of me trying to, you know, me saying all this is just like, keep an eye on your lines. If you have to, add buses, add trams, add trains, sell them if you need to, put them back in the garage. If they're in the garage, they pay less maintenance. So what we can do now to save money is we can start repaying our loans. And we're saving, I think, 100k on interest once we pay that off fully. So let's keep paying that off. And then uh, I think what we'll do is just kind of end the episode here. Um, I think I'll just let the game kind of run a little bit uh, off camera just so I can pay off the loans and uh, 
get ourselves into a nice um, little financial position for the start of the next episode. And then what we can do is we can um, uh, beef up Wichita, and then we can um, go ahead and add um, one more um, city, and then we can kind of extend our whole line. And then we can start thinking about where we want to start doing, say, like a second line, and then, you know, eventually third line and that kind of stuff. And then we'll kind of link them all together, and then we can kind of have a little bit of fun like that. Yeah, a lot of, you know, a lot of options, which is good. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we can add a, um, a second um, truck line as well, just to kind of keep the, um, you know, the avenues of uh, money generation, you know, wide open. Give ourselves lots of options. And you can kind of see that we're revisiting the uh, cities again, you know. We're already starting to develop on the opposite side of the street, which is awesome. And the cities themselves are starting to get a little bit more beefed up. So we can only go forward from here, which is great news. And it looks like I... Yeah, it looks like these are finally solved. Oh my goodness, a little bit of a headache that was. Very embarrassing. I'm sorry, guys. I can't get over how silly I am sometimes. I hope that wasn't too bad. Okay, so... You kind of see we are very profitable we made uh 643,000 last year um we will be able to do a million plus which is really great so as long as we're not spending money we are good okay now let's look at these one more time before we end off our episode did we save yes both of these are finally profitable so again a little bit of a face palm i'm sure you guys probably saw that when i was first doing it being like no no oh my goodness but um but yeah no it's fixed now so that's good so sorry guys um, I will, you know, keep a little bit more of a watchful eye for that kind of stuff in the future. Okay, have yourselves a uh, great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And uh, again, thanks uh, as always for the comments and all the uh, support and everything. So I look forward to reading those. All right, talk to you later.